This is the last bit of work I want to do on angles, and the work's going to be on bearings. Bearings. So what are bearings? Well, bearings, if you look at this, we've got a little, like, compass thing here with north, east, south, and west. And what happens is the bearing starts from north. Starts from north. And goes clockwise. So that's what a bearing is. It starts from the north and goes round clockwise. So it starts here and goes round that way. And so how do we measure bearings? Well let's see, I've got a diagram here. I've got some angle here. I call this point A for some reason. And say I want to measure this, this is a, a bearing. What we would do is, we would measure that with a protractor to find out what that angle is. And then also, but, say we wanted to measure not that angle, but this angle. I'm here because see that is still starting from the north because it's going round that way. When I say starting at the north, I just mean as near the north as possible. So starting from there to go round. So what we'll do now is, well, protractors can only measure 180 degrees usually. So what we'll do here is we'll measure this angle. So we'll measure this and subtract from 360 degrees to find that angle there. Okay, so that's how we would do that. That's how we would measure bearings, and that's what bearings are. Right, now a few applications here of how they actually used one's navigation, like for ships and things, because what you could do is you could tell a ship how far to go in one direction and what bearing to turn and that gives an exact position for the ship so it's a good navigation system and the other one's also polar coordinates now if you haven't learned about coordinates at all then coordinates are coming later on in the course we won't be doing polar coordinates in this course we'll be doing a simple type but it's an application of bearings so i just put it on there Right, so let's look at some examples now. First example says, draw a sketch, London to Ipswich has a bearing of 0.38. Now when we've got bearings, we must put the notes in, because they must always have three digits. And so if I want to draw that, then London would be up here. Ipswich would be round here. And I want to draw a bearing of... <coughs> this is the north. 38 degrees. So roughly, that would be a square if I went along there. That would be about half a square. And if I just take a little bit off that, that should be around 38 degrees. That's not exact because I'm doing it on the board here, but it's a rough idea. So that's the first example. Next example here says find the bearings. So we've got this diagram here. And we want to find the bearing from C to A. So what we do here is we can use the rules we've learned in the last videos to do it. And from C to A is that. Because it goes around that way. That's C and that's turning around to A. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this angle here. By using the interior angles rule. 
and that would tell we're at this angle is 128 degrees and that's a circle going round there so we're going to take that from 360 to find this angle going round here which will be the bearing so we're going to get 232 degrees so the bearing from C to A is 232 degrees. Next one we want to do is C to A. C, C to B, I mean. So we've got C here and we've got B down here. So this time we want to measure this angle going along here. And that's quite complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to find that angle first. That's 90 because that's a right angle that bit. So that's going to be 48 degrees. That's on the same line so using the interior angles rule. We'll subtract that from 180. So that's That's 38, sorry, because that should add up to 90. So what we'll do is we'll subtract 38 from 180 and we'll get this angle here is equal to 152. And we know that all the angles in the triangle add up to 180, so we'll add the 38 and the, 30, the, 38 and the 52. 152, sorry. And that comes to... 180. 90. That. 190, that shouldn't happen. That is... Wrong. That's... Gone wrong here. Yeah, this isn't the... Good diagram, we've obviously made a mistake here, but you get you get the idea of what we're doing. And if you've got any questions you can just put them on the video.